at 6, getting results. Thanks to Aid on Your Side, Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody is bringing the hammer down on a Tampa marketing company accused of sending out fake stimulus checks. Aid on Your Side's Victoria Price first reported on these fake checks and brought the issue to the AG's office last month. Well, Victoria is joining us live tonight in town, a country with an update. I remember when you first did, did this story, I mean, we couldn't believe people, someone would actually do something like this. Right, Keith, and this is really what we had suspected all along. Today, the AG's office telling us the traffic jam events. This company behind me here was sending out ads for used car sales disguised as stimulus checks to try and lure people in. Like it says, uh, time sensitive, fast tracked, open immediately, do not bend. Last month, Thomas Andrews got what appeared to be a stimulus check in the mail. He knew it was not legit, but he feared others might fall for it. That's why he reached out to Aid on Your Side. Do you think whoever's behind this is trying to exploit this crisis? It, oh, most definitely, yeah. The check was made out for more than $3,000 with COVID-19 auto stimulus on the memo line. You were instructed to come claim your benefits at an address in Bushnell. At the time, Congress had not even passed the bill that included stimulus checks, so we immediately gave Attorney General Ashley Moody a heads up, and her office opened an investigation. Turns out the checks came from Traffic Jam Events, a marketing company that organizes used car tent sales. More than 35,000 were mailed out across the state. Today, the AG's office filed a legal complaint and temporary injunction against Traffic Jam, calling, quote, this type of deceptive marketing completely unacceptable during these challenging times. Our calls, voicemails, and emails to Traffic Jam Events today have not yet been returned, and this probably comes as no surprise because of the coronavirus, but it doesn't appear that anybody was working from this office here earlier today. Keith? Victoria, do you know how this company might be held accountable for what they did? Yes, for deceptive trade practices, there are violations of up to $10,000, even more uh, if it involves senior citizens. It's unclear right now how that would apply to this. I did ask uh, if the $10,000 would be applied to every single check, all 35 plus thousand that were sent out, or if that would all be looped into one violation. But in the very, very, very least, you're looking at a $10,000 fine yeah. for this. Now, let this be a warning to everyone. If you see something like that, give us a call. We'll check it out. That's what Victoria Price did. Eight on your side. Thank you. Live in town and country.